Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. So nice to see you again. I've been off for the last couple of weeks diving deeply into Combine, Swift UI, and while I can't quite use these things every day in my real life projects yet, because my projects are UI kit based, there is one really cool thing that we can take advantage of from Swift UI in our everyday UI kit projects. And that's something called Swift Previews. If you want to see an example of how you can take advantage of some of this really cool new technology in your UI kit projects today, come on in and I'll show you how they work. Okay, so one of the big promises with Swift UI is that you're going to be able to develop faster because you get advantage of this thing called previews. Here's some very simple Swift UI code. And as you'll see in Xcode, we get a preview on the right-hand side here, which will update and adjust as I type in real time in Xcode. This is one of the huge productivity improvements that Swift UI offers, and it's something that a lot of people are really excited about. The problem is we can't really take advantage of this in UI Kit, or can we? Okay. So what we've got here is our typical UI kit application. This is just a brand new project with a plain view controller. And as you can see, if I want to change anything in my UI, I've got to go command R, run the simulator again, and then finally see the results show up in my simulator. Now this isn't that bad. This is a very simple view controller, but you can imagine if I had to navigate far down into the app to see what my changes actually look like, that could take time. And of course, if I made a mistake and realized I got it wrong, I would have to come back and do the entire process all over again. Watch what we can do with the few simple structs and adjustments that will enable us to actually do this using a Swift UI preview in UI kit. Okay, first let's just not worry about the simulator. Let's expand Xcode to use all of our screen space here. And I'm just gonna copy in some files and then I'll explain what's going on. First, we're working with view controllers here. What I've done is I've copied in a struct and some Swift UI code, and you can see immediately it's changed my canvas to do something else. Now it's not showing anything right now, but this is the Swift preview canvas that we're actually gonna view our UI kit view controller in. Now, right now it's not showing anything. It says the automatic preview is paused. If I wanna resume it, I'm gonna hit this resume button, and the shortcut for that is option command P very handy button and whoa look at that i'm now viewing my view controller in xcode in using a swift ui preview and if i come in here and i change the text look what's happening i'm getting real-time updates without having to recompile and view my simulator again this is a huge productivity boost and it's it's really really cool to be able to take advantage of this in UI kit. And this doesn't just work for view controllers. You can also do this with views. Here, for example, I have a very simple view. All it does is display a label in the middle of the view. And if I add some similar code down here, again, bringing in that Swift UI preview, and I go up in here and hit resume, I can again view and see just this view instantly in my app. And this is super cool. I can come in here and change the label, I could come in here and change you know, all sorts of text and things. And again, sometimes I have to restart this to get these you know, changes to appear. But it's a much faster way of actually getting real-time feedback in UI Kit and seeing what your designs look like as you're building them. Okay, now let's break this down and go over what we're actually doing and see how we did this. Okay, let's start with the UI view controller. The way we make our UI view controller renderable in Swift UI is basically by implementing a UI view controller representable protocol. That means implementing this make UI view controller method, this update UI view controller method. And this is a struct that I, I took from a really good article on NS Hipster, Swift UI previews. And it's some convenience code that lets me define any view controller using this struct and then rendering it down here with this preview preview provider. 
So this is a file actually. Normally in a project, I would extract this into a file called UI View Controller Preview, and then all my view controllers could use it. And then the way I would use it in a view controller is by adding this code at the very bottom of my view controller. So here we have a conditional that checks to see, do we have Swift UI? Make sure we're in debug mode. And if we do, we'll go ahead and import Swift UI. And this is really interesting. Look what's going on here. Another advantage of using this Swift UI preview is we can view multiple devices in our Swift UI layout. We can loop through each device, create our plain old view controller, and then add some properties to it and see what our view control would look like in this case on an SE. We could see what a 11 Pro Max would look like and then just render various devices and see them all in one place. Very, very cool. And you can do a lot more with this. We could flip into dark mode. We could change different configurations. This is also where we could set up test data and pass it into our view controller and see what a table view would look like, for example. Really, really powerful, but that's the mechanics on how we do that for a view controller. And for view, it's the exact same thing. Only this is going to be a UI view preview. A UI view preview has its own representable with make UI view and update UI view. And here again, this is a struct I took from that NS Hipster uh, article. Really convenient. I would create a file for this in my project. And now all of my views could inherit from it. So if I want to use it, I would just come into whatever view I've got in UI kit, add this code, rename things appropriately. In this case, simple view preview, return my simple view, uh, do any configuration I want. In this case, I could add some padding. And again, just instantly see what my view looks like in Xcode. Now, if you want to see how this all works, I've started a brand new repo for deliberate learning personally for myself. So I apologize, not everything here is going to be written up perfectly. But J. Rasmus and Swift UI, this is where I've started taking notes on Swift UI and how these things work. And don't worry, we're going to get into a lot of really cool super stuff. So if you want to learn combine and Swift UI and see what this upcoming new world of app development and iOS looks like, do hit like, do hit subscribe. We're going to get into lots of cool stuff, but I'm still learning it too. I'm still figuring out how to explain this stuff even to myself. But in here, I've created a how to called UI kit previews. And in there, you can find the example code just covering what we did. And, and you can take this and use this in your applications today. Well, there you have it, folks. A really cool way of taking advantage of some cool Swift UI technology in your existing UI kit applications today. I don't want you to think these previews are a silver bullet. If you have a really large project, compilation times can still take a while and sometimes it can still take some time for the Swift preview to come up. But once you get it, it can save you a lot of time from having to navigate deeply into that application and just give you that nice rapid feedback we all crave and look forward to when we start building a real Swift UI application. I'm still learning Swift UI and Combine and this whole new upcoming way of building applications in iOS. I wouldn't get stressed. UI Kit is so foundational, it's going to be around for a long time. I still use it every day on my applications. It's what I do my professional work in. And being able to take advantage of some Swift UI in UI Kit is actually just kind of a nice intermediary way of dipping your toes into this new world while still working in how we currently have to build apps. So I wouldn't get stressed about Swift UI and Combine and all these things. We're going to learn these together. I've been learning this stuff. I've got lots to share in some upcoming videos. So come back and we'll continue seeing how we can take advantage of some of these new technologies in our existing apps with one eye on the future. Okay, thank you so much for coming, everyone. I hope you found that useful. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.